What is happening guys on today's episode we're going to be starting the full independent suspension buggy for the 670. A lot of people have been wanting to see us uh, do another 670 so what we're going to be doing is a supercharged and a turbo setup on the 670 to find out which one makes a better uh, pretty much a better power band and which one makes more efficient power. So we're going to start building the chassis today. It's going to be a ton of work so stay tuned for the next couple weeks. We're trying to get this buggy ready for Winrock. We're having a meet up on May 31st and June 1st. Uh, at Winrock uh, Off-Road Park. You can camp there. There's no charge to come and hang out with us, but there is a charge to ride on the trails. The information is in the description below as well as keep an eye out on our social media, Instagram and Facebook, where you can find out more information on <clears throat> our schedule, what we're giving away. It's gonna be a really good time, guys, and we hope to see you there. So without further ado, let's get to building this buggy on the Sigmund Fab Table. Let's go. So we've been working along on this old buggy. Uh, we got our shocks uh, at half travel. So when our A arms are flat, that'll be half travel. These shocks have 10 inches and one, 10 and a quarter of suspension travel. So we got them squatted down to five inches uh, by using zip ties. So we can see where our, our A arm, our lower A arms are gonna be at flat travel. So that'll allow it to go even higher up, you know, cause our tires are gonna be like 25s or 28s on the front so we'll have plenty of ground clearance at full suspension squat uh, the next thing okay well this is the shock hoops obviously and since my tubing bender will only bend a certain 
uh, only up to a 90 what I had to do was take this and uh, you know I sleeved it I sleeved it inside of here and I took two 90s cut half of 190 off and made this hoop it's the best I can do with what tools I have it'll look good once I weld this and grind it it'll look like one solid piece of steel uh, the next step will be bringing the bars from the row cage uh, the very top up there down to this I don't know what kind of look I might even have to bend one look at it and bend another one I don't know yet but that'll be the next step is these uh, the front row cage bars and then I can do the door bars that'll come from you know somewhere in this area I'm tripping so. over everything. yeah there's junk everywhere and I even cleaned up some this morning so you can see how this Sigma table changes the game for building stuff we're able to hold our shock it, exactly I think this was 23 degrees we was looking for 25 but 23 worked out a little bit better um, for our shock we just have all this set and I'm going to cut some plates to weld on top of my a arms uh, that'll go about this far so it's, I got a template actually right there a little triangle template so that'd be eighth inch thick of steel welded on the bottom a arms I haven't made the top a arms yet we're waiting for that then we use these big 90 brackets and a bunch of stops and stuff and we just got it fixtured up like this was completely held in place before we ever tacked it and you see we got it wedged down here with this sigmund clamp so i'm telling you guys this changes the game on building things they have smaller more affordable tables right well we got the mobile weld table uh that you'll be seeing us use like when we get to the top a arms we're going to pull the mobile table out and start building the top a arms on that mobile table because we will be out of room on this and that was the reason we got a second table when we're done huge buggy builds like this you gotta think this the whole cab is going to take over this whole entire table when it's done so when we do the back section when we build our back a arms and our top a arm for the front that'll all be on the sigmund mobile table and that's the more affordable unit it's got a half inch top on it you can flip it over once you wear the top down which i mean you shouldn't be wearing it down unless you're just grinding the far i love it but I might put a temporary brace in here, but I'm not sure yet because I don't want to put nothing until I know where my row cage is going to be to make everything flow together. If you've seen rock crawlers, they try to make, you know, if if the roof line comes down through here and then these sidebars come up like this, they make this brace flow with it so it looks like one consistent piece of tubing. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's challenging, but it'll look awesome. So <sighs> we'll get back to work. That's where we <laughs> How in the world? Look how perfect that notch is. What tell you? <laughs> that notch is dead on. I told you not to do it. Well, <laughs> well, still. We did it. We did it a few times. Right there. All right, boys, uh, we didn't talk too much in this video because we was just uh, trying to get this thing as far uh, done as possible. And of course, this is gonna be a super long build, so stay tuned. It'll be shorter episodes most likely because so much time goes into one episode. I can't put out two episodes a week and put you know 25 minute videos out so the videos are going to cut down to about 10 to 20 minutes you know this one was short because uh i didn't have beck out here filming me as much but the buggy's looking pretty sick already we got pretty much most of the cab done and uh flip the camera around and i'll show you what she looks like 
so there it is it's really hard to get it through on camera what this thing looks like but it looks insane uh, built my lower a arms as you can see everything's going to be heim joints i'm not doing ball joints on anything um so those are half inch heim joints and they had these weld in bungs so basically we had to grind out just a little bit of this one inch tubing uh, because it had a three quarter inch inside diameter these were supposed to be three quarter inch outside diameter but they was actually larger so we had to grind a little bit out of the tube but they're all welded in they will this plate right here will be cut out eighth inch thick steel and be welded over top of the a-arm i can't slide as back as slide it back as far because of the shock but these shocks are at full full you know open of course but they're actually not going to be quite like that the uh, shock's going to be compressed half of its travel when the a-arms are flat like this Let's just give you guys an idea but she looks awesome uh, i think it looks pretty crazy it's got that rock bouncer look and this didn't even start as a rock bouncer. We started, we stripped down the old 200cc uh, go-kart to build a chassis for it, and then basically it turned into uh, a 670 chassis. So uh, a couple things we gotta do is we gotta start on the roof next, get the window bar done and do the roof lines. Then these was just put in here to space it apart. These will be cut out and it'll follow this line here. And then, you know, there'll be one following that line right there. So all the tubing will flow together, kind of like it did right here. You can see this bar just continues to slope down. That's one solid bar. So looks awesome. I'm going to try to film as much as possible on this build, guys. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to be building this over the next few weeks. We're trying to get this ready for our Windrock meetup. Uh, so we'll have the 670. I don't know if it'll be supercharged by the meetup, um, but it will be on there making a ton of power. Now the Dana transaxle is actually going on this, so we, we, we will have forward, reverse, and neutral. We're going to have CVs on the rear, so we got to build rear A-arms later. So we, we just want to get most of the uh, chassis done for now, and then we can start on the front suspension. And once the front is a roller, then we can do the rear section, find out the best placement for that Dana, and build our rear A-arm. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Links to everything is in the description below. Make sure to always go to Go Power Sports and check them out because without their uh, help, these videos wouldn't be possible. So always go give them some love and uh, buy your go kart mini bike parts from them uh, because they are the reason you get these go kart and mini bike videos. So thank you guys for watching. Really excited. Let me know what you think of our little rock bouncer. Well, it's not really that little, it's pretty good size. It's going to have like a 95 inch wheelbase or something like that. It's going to be pretty crazy. But uh, hopefully, our steering rack's good. Uh, we got a a better like dune buggy steering rack for it so should have plenty of steering so a lot of stuff going on in this buggy guys stay tuned and keep on watching we love you god bless